Hey y'all, what is up? For those of y'all that don't know me, my name is Kimberly. I make videos about Germany and I'm an American, so if you wanna hear my thoughts and opinions on cultural differences and my perspective on things, please hit the subscribe button down below. I post new content every single Monday and Friday, so you can expect to see me on these two days. I'm really excited about today's video. So I recently made a video about five things I miss about Germany. So if you wanna see that video, it's gonna be linked somewhere around here. Today I'm gonna to talk about five things I miss about the USA when I'm in Germany. I just wanna say a disclaimer that this is a really lighthearted video, so please don't turn this into a political rant or anything like that in the comments down below. This is really lightheartedness. I think there's so much heaviness happening in the world right now, so I just kinda wanna make light of some things and it's really not that serious, guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So one thing that I really miss about the US when I'm living in Germany is that I really miss neighborhood hangouts. And being at my parents' house in a really residential neighborhood, I'm reminded of how just like friendly neighbors are here, how it's normal to go ask for things from your neighbor and just hang out, have barbecues. That's not really normal in Germany. And I have a theory on this. I have a lot of theories, but this is my main theory. And it is because in the US, our houses are a little bit bigger. We have more space, we're more spread out. In Germany, the population is a lot more dense and it's more condensed. So I think you just don't want to talk or hang out with your neighbors because you're already so up each other's space. Here, it's like, fun so yeah I really miss like hanging out with your neighbors and barbecues and stuff like that it's really fun and it just adds to an element of where you're living I swear like my parents are the king of the street and they know absolutely everybody okay so the second thing that I miss when I am in Germany is jelly so I made a video about American foods that I no longer love or appreciate as much as I did before and I will link that again here and um, what I said was that I missed jelly and a lot of Germans were like we have it we have it my grandma makes it and it's still not the same I feel like until you've had it you don't really know what it is um, so here's a picture of the jelly that I'm talking about I really miss this grape jelly because it just goes so well with peanut butter and y'all have made really good peanut butter so you can find decent peanut butter in Germany that tastes pretty similar to like Peter Pan or something like that that you would get in the US but I've yet to find American jelly I have found a lot of jams and what are they called and marinades I think that's what they're called marmalades marmalades I have found a lot of marmalades but I've yet to find any grape jelly I'm sure I could find one if I go to an American store in Germany but it's not available at a Lidl or anything like that at the local grocery store I really miss peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when I'm in Germany and I do make it with like Erbia, uh jam but it's still not the same as jelly like grape jelly okay so number three something that i really miss is just the wide variety of curly hair products so obviously i have super curly hair and there's not that many girls with curly hair in germany like here in the u.s i think in the u.s because we are very diverse and we have a lot of latinos and black people so we have a lot of curly hair products but it's really hard to find that honestly in germany so what i've noticed is that in the german hair product aisle is that there are a lot of hair mousses and that's really meant for people that don't have volume in their hair and i have a lot of volume but i can never really find a good spray gel or hair gel there's a lot of hair gels for men but not for women so it's really hard for me to find products that work well with my hair and the water in Germany, the, the shower water is death to my hair. It absolutely strips away everything in my hair and dries my hair out. Here in the US you can really find everything for curly hair and it's really nice but I struggle with finding makeup that matches my skin tone and with finding a lot of curly hair products. It's 
the struggle. So I'd be interested to know if you have curly hair and you're watching this video, where do you find your curly hair products? Do you get it imported? Because I really struggle with that. But it is better than Asia. When I was in Asia, I absolutely could not find anything for my hair. So I was so grateful by the time I got to Germany to find a little bit of curly hair products. But still, I think the US definitely has a bigger variety. Number four, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that other YouTubers have probably definitely talked about this. I really start to miss Tex-Mex food and tortillas. Just Germany doesn't have good Tex-Mex food, Mexican food. Um, yeah, I'm actually so confused. So I'm going to put a picture right here of a tortilla. I've had so many Germans actually call this bread and it just confuses me and when I say it's a tortilla they don't believe me but I'm like I'm half Latina that's not bread that's a tortilla sweetheart um but yeah I absolutely miss Tex-Mex food queso dip queso in general is something that I've never seen in Germany so if you've had this before in Germany please let me know because even at Mexican restaurants I've been to Tex-Mex restaurants that I've tried out I've never found queso dip and it is something that is so good guys there's a tradition that every time I get back to Texas my parents and I go to this Tex-Mex restaurant and it's just the best feeling in the whole entire world because I really miss my salsa and queso so yeah I really miss Tex-Mex food a lot there's just nothing like it and you definitely can't find it cupcake shut up my dog is barking Okay, number five. So something that I really miss about the US when I'm living in Germany is iced coffee drinks, especially when I'm in Germany during the summertime because the iced coffee drinks in Germany just aren't the same in my experience. It's just like one little ice cube that's in your drink. And I really just miss the super icy, flavorful iced coffee drinks that we have here. My favorite is at Starbucks the sugar-free vanilla with a splash of almond milk iced coffee. It's so good. So when I get back to Texas, it's like Tex-Mex and that drink and I'm good with life. Uh, but yeah, I definitely miss my iced coffee drinks when I'm in Germany. It's ice, ice drinks here are just a really big thing in general and they're not so much in Germany. And maybe it has something to do with a, oh jeez. Jeez, she would not stop barking. I don't know if it has something to do with the climate difference, but I've heard that New Yorkers also love iced coffee drinks, so I guess that rules out the climate difference theory that I have. So those are the five things that I miss about the US when I'm in Germany. Um, I'm sure I could have another list of these things. I could have another list of German things that I miss when I'm in the US. There's just so much to miss, especially when you're so connected to do two different cultures. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and I will see you guys on Friday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really don't understand why people watch my videos. It just blows my mind and I'm so grateful for it. So again, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to join this family and this community. And thank you for watching this video. If you haven't yet, please give this video a big like and I will see y'all on Friday. Ciao, tschüss, bis then. Okay, number five. So the last thing that I really miss about the US when I'm in Germany is, oh shit, I forgot.